Welcome to the Rise of the Tsar. Let's go. Hey everyone, my name is Simsy. How you all doing? Welcome to the Great War mod for Napoleon Total War. Today we're going to be playing as Tsar Nicholas II of Russia. The main objective of this video is to win WW1 against the Central Powers, defeat Germany, Austro-Hungary, and Turkey. We might even form the Soviet Union as well. We'll just have to see how this campaign progresses. I hope you all enjoy. The Duke has been taken out. We'll back the Serbs, of course. Here are our objectives. Most of Eastern Germany is what we want to conquer. The Germans have the largest military. That'll change once we mobilize. And we're currently at war with three factions. We are allied with the French and the British. Interesting, but we're at war with the Germans, the Turks, and Austro-Hungary. Alright, so this is what we currently control. The Baltic States, Finland, Petrograd is our capital. We've also got a small navy in the Baltic as well. We'll try and use that as best we can, but we want to try and mobilize and rapidly go west. We will adopt Marxist socialism reforms <laughs> so we can eventually become the Soviet Union and bring in a bunch of Soviet satellite states, I guess. Here are some of the generals. They look all right as we make plans and preparations to flood west. We've got a pretty decent army. Numerically, could be improved. Here is Tsar Nicholas II. <laughs> Not very popular. Hilarious. All right, so I think we need to protect the ports. That always can be an issue in this if it gets blockaded. So we'll try and divide them up. We've mobilized four decent armies or so, ready to march on over into East Prussia and put some pressure on the Germans and Austro-Hungarians. Now, ideally, in the Great War mod, I personally prefer as much artillery as you can get. It is quite expensive, of course, but if you can just have like five, six units of infantry, the rest artillery is uh, something I'd highly recommend. And we want to obviously start collective farming. Yes. <laughs> All right, so let's have our first battle against the Austro-Hungarians. This one has a lot more artillery. We want to pound our enemy into submission. Artillery is king in this mod. All right, so let's set things up and pound away. Cavalry, in my opinion, is basically useless in this mod. It just gets shredded. So we're going to sit back, relax, and allow the sounds and shelling of artillery to rain out. They seem to be advancing. They're going to try and fire some back at us. But we have artillery supremacy. We've managed to bring six pieces, so they're automatically going to try and close the distance. Just trading at the moment. Our boys are holding. But obviously, WW1, all about artillery and simulating trench warfare in this mod. They still haven't come across us. Our cavalry is now flanking. Thankfully, it didn't get shredded on that left-hand side, but once it gets into the thick of this, it probably will. Now, okay, it's starting to get hit here. Okay, that's not a bad charge. Yeah, I'm just not the biggest fan of cavalry in this mod. Okay, we're just absolutely rinsing them as they come close. And our uh, Imperial Ruski infantry is doing well. Decent charge there. Okay, artillery is absolutely carrying us here today. Oh my. Okay, so they're in range now. And we're just trading at the moment. Also, I read a good comment from one of you guys. If you turn off HDR, it stops that annoying square, white square thing that pops up. Okay. Nice, glorious victory. We've taken Lemberg, Galicia, a settlement in Ukraine. We'll occupy it from the Austro-Hungarians and we'll try and throw them back. It's 
nice move here as well. But so far, we're just mass assault doctoring them. Okay, we're going to go and attack Konigsberg now in East Prussia. Okay, we can actually demand surrender potentially. No way, <laughs> they accepted. Ah, oh, nice. I guess there was some uh, Ruski allies there. It's kind of crazy that they still own Kaliningrad to this day. Alright, well let's uh, march against the army that fled after the citizens turned on them. So our first battle against the Kaiser's forces pouring down with rain. Not the most conducive to artillery warfare. They've brought a decent amount of their own. Those German siege guns are quite strong. Just trading at the moment. The German army is very, very capable. The Bundeswehr at this time period. They've even got mortars as well. Those are deadly on the battlefield. Alright, we're going to charge our cavalry over. Hopefully they don't get wiped out completely. They're going to get a good charge against the German mortars. Nice. Battle for Konigsberg is well underway. Or should I call it Kaliningrad? They've actually flanked me here. A cavalry's trading with theirs at the moment. But the balance of power seems to be on my side. I've sent some units just to react. Yeah, that flank is uh, putting some pressure on my artillery. In a really solid position to win this one, though. And Konigsberg has fallen. Nice. Another victory for the Tsar. Alright, let's move our plane into Poland now. And we've got artillery coming. Alright, we've got an opportunity to take West Prussia now, as we crushed the uh, defending army. Oh, a surprise attack here. Okay, we're going to march into Poland. We could have liberated Danzig, but we want to control it. We'll fight this one. A snowy battle for Warsaw. General Winter seems to be on our side. As our artillery pounds away. And there's plenty more well on the way. From the production lines in Mother Russia. I think we'll outright control Poland. We do have an option, a lot of options to liberate nations in this mod. But I think directly controlling the territory is something we should do. We will liberate some other nations though. Maybe the Czechs and the Slovaks or, I don't know, Yugoslavia potentially. But so far, we just seem to be artillery spamming them. Also, they're fighting on multiple fronts. They're dealing with the British in the air and the French on the land. Okay, decent charge coming in here. Have to be very, very careful. As infantry is now going to be flushing. Hopefully we can get some tanks soon, but that's a little bit away in this mod. At the moment, mass assault battles with artillery, but the Germans have closed the distance and are clashing with the Russian front line. Fierce fighting is now breaking out. Both combatants fixing bayonets. My infantry trying to protect the artillery. Soldiers rolling in the slush and the dirt. Will there be one final Blitzkrieg, one final charge here for the Germans? For the Kaiser! Ah, man, Kaiser! <laughs> Looks like Warsaw and Poland is about to fold. 
Nice. Victory and a heroic one at that. Hmm. We could live... No, I think we'll occupy. I want the territory. Okay, we need to throw back that attack. Alright, we've pushed into Transylvania now. Going through the mountain pass. And that will fall. Just got to be careful with these small raids. They can be quite annoying. Okay, we're making plans and preparations now to march against Hungary. If we can bring that into our sphere of influence, we might be able to divide the empire in half between Austria and them. A nice clear day in Hungary, just like we'd like to see. As we go further west, the winters are warmer, far less harsh. So, in the blue, they're going to try and defend Hungary. As the Our men are running for Ruskies look to divide Austria-Hungary in half. But at the moment, six units of artillery seem to be working incredibly well. And now you think our military is probably on par power-wise with the central powers. The Ruski's focusing on the eastern flank. Or the French focus on the west. Okay, they've snuck around here. But at the moment... We seem to be crushing anything that comes near us. We're building up chevrons and battle experience as well. The Germans did a lot better. The Austro-Hungarians haven't even broken our front line. But the more artillery you can bring, the better. Like, ideal build, 4-5 units. The rest, the best artillery you can get. The old siege guns are pretty good. Okay, so they've finally reached the front line, but it might be a little bit too late. As the Austro-Hungarians are now in a full retreat. <laughs> We're still just absolutely obliterating away. Oh my god. Nice. Victory. Okay, Hungary, Budapest has fallen. Alright, still continuing now, pushing into Cilicia, that will fall, we will military occupy. Okay, so it's probably not a bad idea to open up another front. I'll be mobilizing some armies here to go against the Turks, which I haven't forgotten. Alright, so the army has now reached Vienna, and we're going to try and take the capital. We seem to be getting a lot of better gains against... The Austro-Hungarians compared to the Germans. They seem to be a little bit trickier. But the Russians have reached Vienna. Picking up some artillery. But we're simply just crushing enough of them. They're focusing a lot on this flank. Oh, this could actually be a problem. They're putting a lot of pressure on my right side. Our men are running, Ooh. sir. Our they actually did quite running, well sir. there. I had to move my units to the right flank. But they are fighting for their capital at the end of the day. Once Vienna and Hungary have fallen, I wouldn't imagine they're going to have much more resilience left. Focusing a lot of our effort on the Austro-Hungarians is definitely the play. Our, Our infantry are now charging in. And that should wrap things up. And Vienna has now been liberated. Nice. One down, many more to go. And we finally have a larger military than Germany. That total mobilization seems to have worked out. Alright. The Austro-Hungarians are incredibly on the back foot. The Germans are still holding out, more or less. And we can liberate Czechoslovakia. Vienna has now fallen. Maybe if we take Prague, we'll liberate them. 
All right, so um, we're still at war with the Ottomans, but the problem is Romania's in the way. They're quite friendly with me. Can we get an alliance and military access? Like, I'll give you indefinite. I don't really mind. I just want to get this over the line. Like, ten turns is plenty. I accept that nice. So that will allow us... The Romanians are going to allow Russian troops to go through Mon Moldova and uh, the capital, Bucharest. An alliance broken. Oh, okay. They uh, might know that we're coming. Mm, interesting. Alright, we're going to make a play into some core German territory. We're going to hit Pomerania with a surprise attack and occupy. Okay, we're going to run down this Austro-Hungarian force. Nice. And we're going to go down into Zagreb, Croatia as well. And... Uh, Croats, Zagreb, Slovenes... Oh, so this is essentially Yugoslavia. Well, we'll definitely uh, liberate them. Nice. That's worth doing that. Okay, so... We're on the footsteps of Istanbul. We'll negotiate with the Ottoman Turks. Peace. No, I'd, only, I'd only ask peace if they bent the knee and subjugated to us. So I guess we'll just go on in. Now, we've got the <laughs> finest artillery here. Oh my god. So, we'll surround them and try and starve them out. While the army's sieging out, we'll get the navy to attack the Turkish navy. We do outnumber them. Oh no, we lost! Oh no! The navy sits at the bottom of the Black Sea now. Great. One of my, my army minister is terrible. We'll, we'll get rid of him. Alright. Some small Hungarian armies have popped up. Oh no! The workers are on strike. It's stopping here. Oh, here we go. So, one turn before they capitulate, the Turks have decided to uh, charge against us. We've been uh, smashing Istanbul for months. Battle is upon us. So, would have liked a little bit more infantry, but we should be okay. We'll just try and smash them as they make their way across the fields. Of Turkey. They've got um, artillery of their own. Ooh. The hills aren't really helping us in this. We're, we're, we're smashing a lot of them, but they're actually intertwining quite well. I'm going to have to get out some manual attack orders. Usually the auto fire of the artillery is enough. Oh, they might just Our have too many from. units here. Oh, no! Manually playing this one. I might be throwing a bit. I should have spread out the artillery more. I did it a, a little bit, but it, it doesn't seem to be enough. Alright, we are still winning. Their general, sir. No, We've taken pray. out their general. But some of the Turks have now pushed over on our line. We've got reinforcements coming in. Our men are running, sir. But they're actually being stopped. This is just such a unlucky battle map for us as well. There's a lot of cover in the hills and shrubbery in sort of the surrounding areas. Like they're going full on guerrilla warfare. Why is Istanbul this like mountainous? <laughs> our infantry is absolutely being smashed, and our artillery is not looking good. They do have uh, a lot of armies, of course. They've got a lot more infantry than me, but so far, the artillery is still doing good. We've got reinforcements coming in. Thankfully, they're infantry. I withdrew the general. Hopefully, time will be on our side. And we'll occupy Istanbul if we win this. Our men are running, sir. Maybe even rename it Constantinople. Us controlling the Bosphorus and the trade would be massive. And turning 
Constantinople into a military Our port would be wicked. Running, sir. The All men right. are fatigued, sir, and must rest a while. I think we're gonna win this one now. Barely, running, though. A Pyrrhic victory. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Slightly needed more infantry, but it's okay. Uh, we're bankrupt. And unfortunately, we lost a general in doing so. Oh, here we go. Revolution. The workers of the world have had enough. <laughs> okay. So we're going to wrap things up here today. And stay tuned for the next part where we're going to be playing as the Soviet Union and marching on Berlin. So if you enjoy this type of content, like and subscribe and stay tuned for more content like this. Also, a massive thank you to our generous Patreons and YouTube members. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.